She's so flirtatious. How does it Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. The All-Star Futures game on tap today. It's the National League Futures taking on the future stars from the American League. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to go. And today on the hill, Vernon Almanza. What's the word on him? Well, most pitchers today are pretty tall, but this guy's definitely taller than most. He's kind of an imposing figure out there, especially when he's standing on top of the ball. It's like he's looking down on you, so hitters have to be prepared for a couple of things. Ball can get on you a lot quicker because of the extension and release point, and then also tilt through the zone. If you're going to try to hit pitches at the bottom of the zone, it's going to be difficult to get on plane. So look for something up from this guy. You might have a chance to do some damage. And first offering is fouled off. Nobody here, nobody. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped. Takes it in for the out. Batting second. The designated hitter. Adam. Now it's the DH, Adam Hall. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Just missed. The pitch. And downstairs. One strike. Hey, come on, guys. Line drive, base hit. That is third. The right field. Met at first. Next to hit, Joey Manessis. One out, one out. In there for strike one. Hey, the play's at two. Let's roll it up now. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield, and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. So one out with two aboard. Now the left fielder, Barack Gilliam. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Hey, come on, guys. We got a hold of Lefty right out of the stretch. Runners at first and third. That's in there. No balls, two strikes. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch that's going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. Got him swinging. Well, this is where the team aspect really comes into play on the offensive side of the game, right? I mean, missed opportunity to tie it up with the runner at third and one out. Couldn't put the ball in play. So now it's time to pick him up. And that's where good teams, they go to. They operate on this level of next man up. That mentality is what causes them to win series, get into the postseason. And that helps keep the energy and morale high in the dugout. And now Giancarlo Castillo. And he deals. He swings and fouls one off. Hey, let's go right here. 
Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. They tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Now he breaks as bad as it's put in play. And that's a foul ball. Pitch misses inside. And it's two and two. That one is upstairs. Colt Heath waiting for a turn at the plate. Runners on first and third, two away. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. At the belt and fires, and there's ball four. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. And yeah, the batter now, Colt Heat. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hall, the runner at third. Manessis over at second. Castillo on at first with two down. Swing and a ball popped up. That gets down for a hit. One runs in. Here comes the throw. Not in time. He's safe as they take the lead. Two runs come in. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. That's a ball that a lot of times you'll see the shortstop or left fielder be able to get to if it hangs up in the air long enough. But right there, it just died and found a way to drop in on the green stuff with base hit. So two down. Here's the catcher, number two. That one's in there. That's strike one. First and second, two down. All right, come on now. Next offering is down low. I got one ball, one strike. And that's in the dirt. Ball, Tough spot strike. right here, a couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's gonna bring in some runs. The count two and one. Way out front for strike two. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. That's ripped, and this one could be extra bases. Castillo coming home. One run is in. Row cut off, now to the plate. And he's in there as two runs score on the play. Back-to-back -back base hits. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And now the shortstop, Marcelo Meyer. Let's make a play and hold him right here. Let's go. And first offering is fouled off. Well, a really rough inning out there on the mound. And uh, this is one of those where you learn a lot about a guy's toughness and his ability to turn the page and keep pressing forward. That's in there. And it's nothing in two. Right there. And that one hit to first. He takes it on his own. That's the inning. So four runs on four hits. No errors. And a runner left on. We head to the second in Arlington. The AL Futures lead this one four to one. Back here at the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. And here is Jason Dominguez. And a pitch. And fouled off. Next pitch downstairs. And the count even one and one.
The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Saying he wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location. Sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. Got him. One gone here. Well, just a beautiful fastball on the inside corner for that backwards K right there. I think the hitter saw it all the way coming from that opposite arm angle. So I got to think he was looking away and just got locked up by the hard stuff pouring in on his hands. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the second baseman, Robbie Moyer. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. Next pitch oh, is outside. Good. It's a good take. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him, so I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside, though, so a good adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. Adam Hall, the next to hit, singled and scored his first time. This to center field. Hassel moving under it. Brings it in. Two down. Joey Manessis now at the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That hits the dirt. Ball one. Moyer leads off first with two down to the inning. And it's one and one. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. The one one is fouled off. And now it's one and two. In the dirt, and an excellent job keeping it right there. Next offering upstairs. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Bounce to third. Fair ball. Lead runner around second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Well, that worked out as good as it could have. We mentioned the RBI opportunity with the runner moving on the 3-2 pitch, and he cashed in by finding a hole in the outfield. You know, that takes a little extra concentration in the box because of the movement on the base pass. Easy to get distracted, so that was a really nice job there. Gilliam in the box now. Take strike one. His first at bat was a strikeout. Corners are occupied with two down. Next offering is in for a strike. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The next nope. pitch misses. One and two to count. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get them home. We head on now to the top of the third. The NL Futures on top, five to four.
Pitching change here, Fernando Manuel. And he's coming in to pitch on four days rest right here. And that might not be a factor at all in terms of being rusty, but he should definitely be well rested. Winning never gets old, but it's also important to come out and play with some level of a fear of failure. That's what brings out the best, knowing that if I don't bring it today, we could lose. And nobody likes to lose, especially when you work this hard to play at this level. Nice win today. 10-4 is how it ends. Roger Dodger, ground beef control. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long. Fans are by the line score. First for the victorious visiting team, 10 runs on 16 hits, one error, they left 16 men on base. For the home team, four runs on 11 hits, no error, they left 13 men on base. And they only tune in just to see what can happen, and when it do happen, they gon' want the perfection of love, only real when they see that you nasty. Man, but I'm glad that you noticed. I'ma keep it real, I ain't never been bogus. I'ma find a way even when I'm at the lowest. The storm go away, but the sun's still glowing. Nothing worth it is easy. Nothing easy is worth it. Y'all live and we die. What you leaving this earth for?